I'm gonna have to fix a couple things here. Um, yeah, my my display settings are a little jack right now because uh, Old World does not like to be captured. Uh, so hang on, let me. I gotta uh, reset the transformation. There we go, and I'll fix this thing. Second, that should be good. Uh, yeah, looks good. Uh, I, th I think so. I think it looks good. Other than, the, other than my pasty whiteness blended into the background here. Um, well, I think, I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're good. We good? We good. I think we're good. Uh, we're going to be continuing Rule the Waves today. Um, I can't tell if there's, if the, is that, is that a pixel? Hang on. No. Okay. We're good. Um, top right corner. Is it right? This is like, yeah, there's like two pixels. There's 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 like the smallest amount of pixels. There we go. There, I think that's. I think I think we're good now. All right, like I was saying, we're gonna be continuing to rule the waves today. Um, I'm not going to be playing Old World because um, I've got something uh, to do this afternoon. Um, uh, Rose asked me to step in for her in the uh the no cb podcast it was supposed to be next week and then they asked me if i could bump it up to this week instead so i'm going to be doing that this afternoon um but that's why we're streaming a little bit early today so we are going to be uh at war with germany today i think we've got we've got a little bit right above my head here a little bit of who's it's here need more cas this is actually quite a bit i think this is 10 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11. We've got 12 heavy cruisers. That's quite a lot. That is quite a lot. You didn't fancy just kicking some German ass? I do. If anything, we need a, we need a, uh, like a fancy new line of light cruisers because our light cruisers are all over the place. We've got legacy light cruisers. I think these are up, these might be upgraded legacy light cruisers. We got the, the long range sandwich class, which we send to Europe for raiding. Uh, and then we got these guys we uh, pumped out of some English uh, dockyards just to try to steal some technology. But we'll see. Um, in terms of the heavy cruisers, so the Albertos are the oldest we have. Um, they could definitely use new engines. Uh, they only hit 20 knots. Um, the War King's a little bit better. They're rated for 24 knots and they're also more heavily armed. And then the Everett's are the ones, the newest ones that I laid down, ready for 25 knots and have an extra turret on them. It's pretty good. Uh, but as it stands right now, we are at minus 9,500 on our monthly balance because we are currently building one, two, three, four, five, six, seven battleships right now. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight battleships. We got six of the Jidge class, um, which are equipped with a pair of super firing aft turrets. Uh, the four turrets are not super firing because I don't have a super firing B turret right now. But it does have four centerline guns, which nothing else in the world Turn has in. right now, I don't think. Prepare um, to defend yourself. And then in the U.S., we are license building uh, these two bug hammer classes, which are, are which do have the super firing B turret. Hopefully, we can steal that technology. Uh, along with um, the shitty 13-inch guns that are um, diddling around in the world right now. Uh, so, but there's not much else for me to do, except for keep pestering the Germans. Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Now, that is a really, really good technology. Double torpedo bounce. Um, oh! That, that, that. Okay, okay. Please, please, please let me sneak attack the Germans in Sing Tao because I haven't gotten to sneak attack. I've been in like seven wars and I've only done one sneak attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Demon, Demon Man just dropped five subs on um, wor Worst Cody Swartzman uh, Kaliticus and Melissa Riddle. I'm going to go with that. Uh, thank you very much for the, uh, the, the five subs there, and welcome to the five people who are here now. Let's, let's see if, if Demon Man here 
is our good luck charm. I didn't know that was a thing. Surprise invasion? Surprise! We're here! Um, I, I'd never seen that before. And surprise attack. Okay, so we surprise invaded and we're surprise attacking Sing Tao. I thought we already had everybody. Everybody's basically mobilized right now. Oh my god. We are, we are right on top of them too. <laughs> I do fancy kicking some German ass. Uh, so we've got the Silent Dragon, the Ice Pole, the Ajax, all Ice Pole class. Did we ever, we upgraded these a little bit, didn't we? For central firing? I think we did. Uh, and these all Ice Poles as well, no, these are the Horned Pandas. A little bit bigger and heavy secondary and tertiary battle. Battle? Battle? Battery. Alright, look, oh my god. Dun 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 Let's see what fucking happens. All right, let's take control over it, uh, some of these guys. Squad Max and send them in here. Uh, right now, there might not be any German ships over here. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh, something big's here. Um, okay, there's something big here. I'm taking control of these guys. There are some big things here. I didn't expect that. Uh, we're gonna put this on slower so that we can, um, you guys are going the right direction. Turn you around. Oh god, don't ram him. They're not exactly going where I want them to go, but I'll, I'll, oh, I forgot I put extra guys on these dongles. These I I don't know if I trust that, to, that 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 those are actually battle cruisers. Um, I I trust that some of them might be heavy cruisers though, but we'll we'll torpedo everything that's that's um, being marked as a larger target first. Uh, and I think Hayate is the last one in here. Hayate can pr looks like um. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, um, you guys head up this way. Oh my god, yes. Wait. Okay, I was like, for a second there, I was like, wait, 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 wait. Did those not hit? Uh, no, uh, they, at least two of them hit. I, I think some dudded, though. I think some of them dudded. Uh, I'm going to have, yeah, these guys basically come along this way. You guys come down this way. I don't know what, uh, oh yeah, it looks like there there are more out there. Ooh, can I get any off at that battleship down there? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's out, out of my range. We're gonna have to flip around. Those are actual battle cruisers. Heavy damage, the Vondraton. Um, they're not like real good ones. So I'm not super concerned about that. Oh, the, these could all be battleships right here. Vondraton hit, uh, Gel, Gel, Gera hit, Gera hit. These could actually be battleships. Namikaze, you're next on the line. I'm so glad I have extra torpedoes on these guys now. They're not moving! Oh my god, this feels this feels right. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna actually tell that the AI is actually not being too derpy with his torpedoes right now, so we're gonna let him go. Oh my god, this feels good. This feel this just feels right. Uh, yeah, um, this one does definitely has not had a torpedo fired at it yet, so hit that one. Namikaze. You fired that one as well. 
Now, the interesting thing about our torpedoes right now is that um, I've only had one or two torpedo technologies fire in terms of um, the torpedo's range and speed. But we've had... Uh, we also got the, like, extra size torpedo... The, the increased size, the, like the TNT warheads. Uh, one of those light cruisers immediately went up. Um, so our torpedoes do not have a high speed or a high range, but do a lot of fucking damage. Which is just amazing. Oh my god, there's so many destroyers coming in here too. Kerplow, kerplow. Vondertan hit, battleship hit, battleship hit. I'm just gonna fire everything I've got at these guys. Uh, what about the closer one out of arc? Okay. I want to... These battleships are... At, could, could potentially just not be... Um... Ooh, ooh. I uh, know, out of arc. Uh, could, just could, could potentially just not sink because they're inside that radius. So they might be able to just get back to port. So I'm trying to hit them really hard. Can they ram each other? Yes, they can. I started blasting. Bah, bah. All right. And we're popping pop over here. You... Uh, you got a solution at anything? Uh, okay. Who, who's the lead ship in this formation here? Might be, like, one of these guys. Uh, no, I'm, I'm on these ones right now. All right. Exploding, well, you cowards. We're gonna. We're, I want to make sure that as many of these German ships uh, are torpedoed right now. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that there's just torpedoes flying in every fucking direction. We were about to um, lay down a new class of uh, a new class of destroyers with more torpedoes on them anyway. So I'm really not too miffed about having to uh, kind of throw some of these guys away. There are at least three capital ships here, which I'm I'm I, I'm pretty stoked to kill. Look at the torpedoes! Battleship hit! Battleship hit! Oh my god, there's so many of them coming on in. Geller, Geller hit, Bayern hit, Bayern hit, Bayern hit, uh, Prince Ito Friedrich hit. So this one's taken a couple, I think every single one of these is taken, yeah, those have all taken hits. Uh, the Bayern is a, uh, it's got uh, triple turrets, it's taken hits, the Odin here. Which is a bigger ship is taking hits as well. I think I don't know about this one though. All right, so let's again let's start whipping torpedoes out. Uh, if anybody can't fire on the large targets, I'm gonna have them fire on the smaller, closer targets. Okaze. Yep, here we go again. Oh my god, nothing but hits. Oh my god, it feels so good. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know if the, the rear target... Oh god, we blasted the superstructure. I don't know if this one's actually taken a hit yet. Um, so I might want to focus on him. And honestly, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with torpedoing destroyers right now. Because we got more torpedoes than we have targets. Oh, I love these sneak attacks. Uh, Hokaze, can you get it? Uh, I, I want to shoot that that one right there, but I don't have a good shot on him. What about Sophia? Uh, unidentified target. Nope, that unidentified one is not taking hits yet. Yep, that's 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 the name of the game here. Death. Torpedo hits a net. Oh. Oh, one of these guys just uh, uh, got saved by a torpedo net. All right, so there's doesn't look like there's anything back here, so let's have these guys turn around. 
I think we rammed somebody here. Vonderton, enemy destroyer, uh, hit by a torpedo. I think we rammed somebody here. Because he's not moving very fast. Yeah, get a torpedo off at that guy. You guys got torpedoes left? You got torpedoes left. Get back into formation. Or get back into their formation. I want to hit that one. Vonderton hit. Sadlitz hit. Uh, so that's this one's been hit multiple times. That one's been hit multiple times. The Vonderton's been hit. I believe all these cruisers have been hit as well. Heavy damage, heavy damage. One's not moving fast. You got two torpedoes left, but you're sinking. Please get a... Please get it. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Get a, get a parting shot off. I need to hit all of these battleships. Boom! Yeah, there they go. Battleship hit. Oh, there's a whole bunch of torpedoes headed towards him. I love it. I think that was two more hits, probably. Uh, that's one more hit. We got one torpedo left here. I want to shoot, uh, what is this close one? Vonderton. There we go. If anybody's out of torpedoes, I'm okay with them leaving. Uh, everybody else is going to keep, keep, keep this going until you're dead. It looks like they're trying to get out. Vonderton hit. This guy is still up. He's sinking, but he's... No, okay, okay. He, he's fired. He's fired already. Uh-oh. Oh, what do you got? What are you doing? Uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, my God. This is great. I love it. Burda, burda, burda. Burda, burda, burda. Burda, burda, burda. Burda, burda, burda. Bird, 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 bird. I don't even care if we get friendly fired here right now. I am perfectly fine with that. If if we get if we get friendly fired right here, I would not I would not shed a tear. Saw a couple more hits. All right, this guy got hit. I don't e I can't even tell how much damage has been done anymore. So many hits. Yeah, if we run out of torpedoes, we could definitely ram them. What about my big ship guns? Uh, well, they're down here. I guess they could come on in. All right, you have five torpedoes and uh, a big target right there. You guys, you guys are completely out. So tell them to leave. I think that was another hit. Yep. These guys are mostly out. What's nice is that with so many targets, there's usually somebody within an arc somewhere. What about you guys? You guys are out. You guys are out. You guys have not done anything yet, so uh let's let's head up let's head on in. This, uh, Gross, Grosser Kurfürst, is that it? Grosser Kurfürst. I kind of, I kind of love the name. Light damage. These guys, the, 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 the issue I'm having with the battleships is they could easily get out of this if they, uh, play their cards right. The battlecruisers are fucked. I don't see them getting anywhere. But the, the battleships could get out of here. Some of, some, of, some of the damage I'm seeing, by the way, I don't necessarily trust either. Because these guys look like they're all fucked up. Conrad, lead ship in your formation. Uh-oh. Oh, right in the butt. There's been a little bit of ramming in here, which I like. You got two torpedoes left. Send them on in. 
Who's got torpedoes left? Who wants to shoot at something? Uh, friendly ships in line of fire. We're gonna get a lot of that because right now it is a it is a bit of a mess of. Ooh, here we go. Uh, 400 yards away. Hit that hit that cruiser. It is a mess of ships in here right now. Oh, you're never gonna hit that. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and fire at that uh that cruiser right there. The way I see it is if these cruisers go down, it's it's free points. Uh, and I, what, what I gotta say about these German ships is, boy, do they know how, like, th do they know how to take a hit? They are, they are really eating torpedoes right now. Oh man, that one missed. I was hoping it would hit somebody. Else. Wait, wait, merchant. Oh, we found a merchant and some patrol boats. Good for us. I think some of the battleships... Oh, and one of them rammed. I think some of the battleships might actually get away from this. Just because of where they started. Hello there. Uh, they're also, you know, they're... Uh, okay, that one got hit by another torpedo. You've got one torpedo left and targets galore. So we've got a high, uh, high speed shot right there. You've got one torpedo left. Uh, already fired it, though. There it goes. Oh! That thing just disappeared. Uh, you guys ha haven't fought yet. Send them in there. Come on. You got a torpedo left? You got a torpedo left? No, you're out. Hey, actually, they're they're actually using their guns. That's impressive. Uh, how's the Odin look right now? I know we hit Odin at least once. All right, the uh, the the, the saws of Doodle here. Uh, Odin or well, let's take the, down this guy right here because he's closer. I know they're all hit. I know for a fact they're all hit. Uh, no, shoot at Odin. You got one torpedo left. Fire at Odin. These guys are coming back in. And now we can have the Conrad uh, fire a torpedo with the Kerr first. Oh, this is great. I'm so happy they had so many ships here. I did not expect them to actually have this many ships sitting around in uh, East Asia. But no, they did. Wonder if it simulates the ship sinking slower if you flood it on both sides. I honestly don't know. Odin hit. Odin went down. Odin's gone. Kerr first. Take another shot. They're still trying to get some of these guys out of here. Conrad, do you have your tor your uh oh there goes another one. Conrad, do you have your bayonet uh available? I wanna hit that cruiser right in front of me. I do! Oh wait, no, that's the other one. Um Where's the cruiser right in front of me? Oh no, he is out of my arc. Oh my god, this is amazing. I am so happy with how this went down. All right, you've got one torpedo left. Where is it? Forward center line. Um, swivel mount. So that should be my bayonet. So how about the Vonderton right in front of you? Eh, out of arc. All right. Sedlitz is trying to get out of here. It is making some speed. Oh shit, I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. I didn't know you could flash fire a coastal battery, guys. Sh no, ships won't enter the blue area. They cannot. Uh, 
Uh, is that a second uh, Sedlitz hit? He's try They're trying to make speed. I know this uh, light cruiser got hit as well. These guys have lots of torpedoes left. Uh, let's see. Yep, right, right into his face. Minikaze. Try to fire at the Odin. That's that he he's the one who is furthest away, so he's the most likely to get away. A couple torpedoes at the Odin. Yeah. Blood for the blood god indeed. Uh try to hit the Odin with everything we got. So this guy just ate another torpedo. You gotta be thinking uh, about this from the Germans per perspective. These guys didn't know we were at war until all of their ships started blowing up. They they didn't they didn't even they prob because this is a sneak attack. This is a fucking sneak attack. They didn't know what was going on. Ah, uh, no, don't bother with that. We got a high there. Yeah, fire it. Get all the torpedoes going for Odin! <laughs> oh, I kind of love it. <laughs> oh, they're just converging from every direction. <laughs> oh, man. That was the one I was worried about getting away. I don't think he's getting away now. Odin hit. Oh, did hit again. All right. Minikaze, you got anything left in you? You do. Um, do you have... No, you do not have... He, he doesn't have his, uh, his bayonet. Uh-oh. Oh, right. My torpedoes have no range. Yeah, the, and now the battleships are just like, okay, our turn. I couldn't be happier about this carnage. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, and the Odin went down. Yes! We got all three battleships and all three battle cruisers. Now, now we're, now I think it's time to pro, it's probably time to leave now. Yeah, just blast everything on the way past. All right, so you guys just get out of there. It's unnecessary. You guys head on down this way. Yeah, just keep blasting on the way past. They'll swing out this way. God, I, I, with how many... I gotta say, with how many torpedoes these things have eaten, I'm surprised they're still floating at all. Come on, Wibwob! You know what to Wib. And what to Wob. Uh-oh. Hayate! D d d Hayate, careful! Zate! Oh, there's the, there's the other one. Oh, God, Zate! Careful. Careful. Oh my god, look at all look at the carnage. Yeah, the the great Sing Tao turkey shoot. That's beautiful. Uh I just Oh yep, yeah, there it goes! There goes the Sadlets. Hello there. Uh hello there. Is that Cat Mandos? Um, Cat Man knows this is the first thing we've done today. It's a sneak attack on Sing Tao. Um, we've sank, we've sunk six capital ships. Um, uh, the, the Prince Eitel Friedrich, the Sadlitz, the Grosser Kursfurst, the Odin, a second Odin, uh, the Vonderton, and that's it. And then their accompanying escort. S sneak attack with like 30 destroyers. It was a, it, it was a slaughter. It was an absolute slaughter. 
and have so many torpedoes. <laughs> so many torpedoes. Speaking of which, and what's great, I was talking about this earlier, what's great, our torpedoes are very short range, but have increased um, yields, so they're very interesting to use. They don't do, they don't have a, a, a very much range, but they do a fuck ton of damage. Okay. Let's, uh, let's tell the, let's tell everybody to get out of here now. Oh, you know what we could do is just, um, go through these little formations and give them back to AI. They should try to rejoin the fleet. So is this, it, oh, also, not only do we get a surprise naval attack, we got a surprise ground invasion too. Uh, did I say you were allowed to, uh, pick up survivors? Oh, um, and we, we did something I didn't know you were allowed to do. We, uh, we got a flash fire on a coastal battery, which I didn't know was a thing. Sink the destroyer. Oh, it went down. Oh, and the sun's coming up. Although, I mean, honestly, with how many fires are raging right now, I mean, the entire ocean around Singtao must be just a wash of corpses. And fire. And corpses and fire. Alright, let's take the heavy ships and tell them to get out. Holy hell. I'm just I I I I I was I was ask I was asking for a sneak attack and I I it was delivered. It was delivered. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and tell uh, these guys don't want to get out of here, so we'll tell them to manually get out. They don't want to leave, so whip! And like this, this, uh, oh yeah, go steal some survivors. With, with all the flaming oil, I wouldn't imagine there'd be many. Look at that. The fleet barely got moving. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. They almost all sank right in their berths. Ah, oh, there he goes. He's dead. We only lost, what, maybe four destroyers? Something like that, four destroyers, I would say. The fleet just... Okay. I, th I think this guy might be preventing the battle from ending. Because he's close to them still. We lost a sub, another sub. All right, we lost uh, two submarines and three destroyers. They lost three battleships, three battle cruisers, four light cruisers, two destroyers, a corvette, two trans, uh, two transports, and the uh, six-inch coastal battery. But look at that, six capital ships. Just beautiful. Twenty-one thousand one hundred and forty victory points. For their 749. That's amazing. The Battle of... Uh, uh, Battle of the... Uh, let's see. The Battle of the Crimson... Battle of... The Crimson Bay. There we go. Fuck. Oh my god. The eight-hour war, yeah, really. Uh, make sure everybody is mobilized, which I think they already are. Go ahead and uh, trade protection. Gonna need a couple destroyers on it as well, but that's fine. We'll take some of the Conrads, because they're older. Put them on trade protection as well. So, um, Germany. You want to surrender? 
Now, in, it said, oh, yep, and we uh, got a invasion there, too. So, let's take a look at the, um, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, mm. did pretty good. Uh, it says that Germany might have one battleship left in the area. I don't know if I believe that. Let's move our spies over there uh, and see how that goes. I'm going to take our all of our long-range raiders and uh, set them to raider and move them to northern Europe where they can do some raiding. Are they doing submarine spam? Let's take a look at the Almanac. Germany, 19 battleships, 9 battle cruisers, 1 pre-dreadnought, 2 heavy cruisers. Looks like nobody wants heavy cruisers anymore other than me. Um, probably going to battle cruisers. Uh, they've got uh, 17 light cruisers, 35 destroyers, zero corvettes, uh, only 16 submarines. Very top heavy. Five damage destroyers left after the battle. Yeah, not that much left. I'm pretty proud of what we did. Cruiser action. Oh shit, Russia's fighting with us too. Woo! Hey, um, our, our battle cruisers actually get to fight. We haven't used those yet. Uh, some Russian battle cruisers in a, uh, let's say they, they've got four turrets and a diamond formation. Gives them, um, a six-gun broadside out of eight potential. I've got a six-gun broad, no, actually, I've got an eight-gun broadside on a limited angle. Seven, seven on most of it. All right. Come at me. Come at me, bro. What do you, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, you know what I just realized? Don't these, uh, these, no, these, I don't think these guys have oil-fired engines, but they do have steam turbines. I don't actually think we put oil engines in, in, in inside any ships yet. Uh, say, oh, how about that cruiser you said you had? Slap the Ruskies around a few times. Yep. Uh, no, and now they are our friends now. They. Nope, I don't want to exit the game. Um, they finally. But did it say the battle was over? Uh, they finally got Stockholm Syndrome. I decided to be my friends. But I got a nose itch right now. They had two light cruisers out there, and that was it. Where were they? Oh, I was actually heading towards them. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. Basic weight control. 1% weight saving on hulls. Nice. Raiders are doing their thing. 10 merchants sunk. Russia adds a couple victory points. So, Germany. Surrender? How long till scout planes? I think it's going to be a little bit longer. Forces have taken control of Kais Chow Bay. Raiders still getting a hold, uh, get, getting up on the Germans. The, man, this, this fucking surprise attack is just devastating. Is absolutely devastating. Oh, I love it. I, uh, I love it. And it'd be, co what are you gonna raid me with? What are you gonna raid me with? Your fucking cruisers? Oh my god. I've got so many ships. Right, let's see what happens. Yeah, Russia added a two like two hundred and thirty VPs to my twenty thousand. This is fine. Oh my god, the greatest surprise attack! That was so much fun. Well, yeah, Apple II guy. They don't call me Benjamin War Crime Magnus for nothing. Oh, my battle cruisers actually found somebody. Take control of these guys personally. Uh, we'll go to 25 knots. I, a brew dog! Welcome, welcome. Oh, you got a battle cruiser? Oh, it's just a battleship. Interesting. They must have transferred it over. Oh, wait. Um, the um, the 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 assess the the strength assessment did suggest there may have been one German battleship left. Was <laughs> it complaining? Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. 
It's fine. Uh, Bayern, what are you armed with? Uh, six 12-inch guns? I, I don't think they got anything else out here. Oh, there... Okay, the Spenka hit gets the first hit. What's our armor? Ten and a half inches. Not bad. Enterprise lands a hit. The six inch coat the six inch batteries. I've um I've take I've I have taken to giving my ships um massive six inch secondary batteries. Oh, but not on these guys apparently. Maybe just on the heavy cruisers or some of the newer ones. God, sorry, I gotta blow my nose. Hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry. Can you guys still hear me? Got okay, so the button I just hit is supposed to turn up my mic. So the button I hit is supposed to turn the microphone off immediately, but it's got like a it's got like a like, like it kind of like kind of goes down slowly. This ship's not getting away from me. Three battle cruisers on one battleship. At least no Demon Ben. Yeah, the Demon Ben, I think, was a, um... De was definitely an issue from the old mic. Medium damage. Uh, oh, and you know what? We've got the other, the other, uh, guys over here. Almost in range as well. Starting to land some good 12-inch hits. Here, let's slow it down now. Especially the Enterprise. Oh, yeah. this, this, I, this guy's not getting out of here. Jopmani apparently decided to... Uh, did, okay, um, just out of curiosity. Did you take a hit to the rudder? Nope, just decided to go towards the back of the formation. You do you, friend. Alright, what about these guys over here? 12-inch guns as well? Yep. He's not getting away. Operating alone? This far from home? Uh... With with no support because we sank pretty much everything else. Enterprise uh, took a near miss. Structure hit. Wow, way over. He's got he got a, a hit from way over here with a six inch uh, with a light gun. Don't forget new DDs. Yeah, um, it's gonna have to wait for a little bit because of the uh, I'm I'm spending all my money right now. But we could definitely get it get on that soon oh the enterprise just hit it with three 12 inch shells and a fourth from the spenka and she slowed down to 15 knots now we're getting eight inch uh hits in from the um the battleships too oh all right, 12 inch hit, six inch, six inch, 12 inch, 12 inch, six inch, eight inch, eight inch. Just, just it, a wall of fire. 10 knots. And dead in the water. Hayate, you know what to do. Comrade, coup de gras. Nothing but smiles. I'm so happy. Uh, I, you know what we could do? Uh, 27 knots, we could probably chase down that light cruiser too. Oh. Medium damage my ass. We blasted the superstructure off that ship and put two torpedoes into it. Alright, so we'll we'll uh keep heading towards that wherever that light cruiser was. And see if we can't find it and sink it. Now the destroyers are just having fun. Oh, and she went down. Oh, that thing didn't stand a damn chance. Oh, hey, hey, oh, whoa. <laughs> Joe Bonnie, what you doing, friend? That thing didn't stand a damn chance. 
abusing the Germans. On paper, the Germans are stronger than me. Remember that. On paper, the Germans are stronger than I am. Uh, but... Just kicking some German ass. Perfect time for that sound effect, too. But I, uh, I, I mean, I sank their entire Pacific fleet in the, in the opening engagement. What the hell did you guys just do over here? With basically no damage. I think we took a couple of near misses and a hit to the superstructure, and that's about it. Apparently, um, oh, yep, it was just, uh, just those two. We took medium damage to a destroyer, and it's about the gist of it. Another Bay Urn went down. Another 3,200 points. So, Germany. Gonna surrender? Yup, yep, 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 yep. Hard terms. <laughs> ah, three month war. Whoo! Oh my god. Okay, so, um, we, t we took Tsingtao in an invasion. I can take I can take it all. I can, I got yep, I can take everything. <laughs> all right, reserve the fleet. Ah. <laughs> ah, that that felt good. That felt good. Look at look at all the little Japanese flags. Ja Japanese uh 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 East Africa. It means we're going to need a uh, a force in the, in the Indian Ocean now. Let's see, let's improve our bases out here. Um, let's improve our bases there. Just basically go through and hit improve bases everywhere. Uh, bigger docks. Oh my god. Advances in ship design? Light hey! Light cruiser armor configuration. I can make proper light cruisers. So France next. France or England. More Nationalist politicians, the government allocates more funding to the Navy. Sudden sl slump in the economy leads to widespread unemployment and poverty. Um, well, any, any further cutbacks are unacceptable. Oh, man. Let's see. It looks like we've got uh, the Apple uh, will be done in approximately 11 months. They just give up. Yeah, I mean, I went like 20,000 victory points up on them in, in an instant. A new German battleship. Ah, well, 14 and a half inches of armor. And they copied me with the huge secondary 6-inch battery. Um, 23 knots, which means they're slightly faster than mine. But that's okay. Still haven't figured out that force lubrication. Uprising in China makes it necessary to send an expeditionary force, obviously. Strong force. Germany is stolen. Ah! Oh! Diplomatic note to the Germans in the strongest possible language. Great Britain stole technology from us. Well, yeah, screw you as well. French government is offering to sell us the rights to AP projectiles. I'll take it. I definitely, we definitely need new light cruisers. We're still working on legacies. It's got AA, which means someone's got aircraft. Not necessarily. Um, a, a lot of times the AI uh, will build ships that have weird components in them. Um, like you, you, you could get legacy. The AI could build legacy ships with anti-aircraft guns on them. So ships from 1899, definitely no aircraft back then to worry about. We're getting there. Uh, improved quality 7-inch guns. I'll take it from the U.S. Ooh, and 1% weight savings on turrets, too. Nice. Economy is recovered. There's AA guns. Uh, the French government interested in buying double bottoms. No. That's sensitive technology. I'm trying to get to the point where um, I can... I, 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 I can stop building eight battleships and start working on some other things. Do we, have, do we even have airships? No, there's no airships yet either. The Russians want uh, ship design. I will sell that to my allies because I'm nearly broke. 
Private shipbuilding increases my dock size. Thank you. And the new docks are completed. Italian government is interesting to buying the rights to uh, destroyer screens. I will take it. Or I will sell it. Oh, more money for the Navy. Ah, there's the Apple. G uh, Russians are offering to sell us the rights to quality zero 13 inch guns. Yes. Yes. Increased uh, AP shell damage from reliable fu delay fuses. Yes, I will do that. Um, okay. So, uh, what we are going to do first thing is we are going to go to the Sophia's. We're going to open up the design. And we are going to increase every torpedo tube to double the size. And then we're going to get rid of... Well, we could get rid of the ones on the sides here. Because uh, that gives me... That, that is still more torpedoes than I had before. Uh, we'll switch the engines over to oil. And uh, that should be that. 16 inch guns went. Well, we, ju we just got a gun bigger than 12 inches just now uh alrighty uh so anything wrong nope so we'll rename this it is still built off the Sophia class so uh we'll get a slight discount on it <laughs> the skulls the skulls class destroyer DD guns up to four inches. Uh, you, uh mm, I've got a higher quality three inch guns and the four inch guns would require redesign. Yiggity. All right, so there's that. And uh, I'm gonna lay down a whole dozen of these. British 15 inch guns. The British don't actually have 15 inch guns, I think. Oh, wait. No, you're right. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we build these, we could build 900 ton destroyers now, can't we? Don't we have access to 900 ton destroyers? I think we do. Um, so that would mean a completely different ship. Uh, oil, medium range, everything's fine. I would still have to delete these two mounts. But then I would be able to fit on bigger guns. Uh, and I still have 50 tons. Can I get an... I don't think I will let me get another centerline swivel. Without a throwing an error. No, I can't. I can get, I can get, um, uh, four centerlines. More speed. Um, I'd rather have more torpedoes right now. I can get another knot, but I'd have to ditch a torpedo or or go or stick with the three inch guns. Well, I can get another knot and go with the three inch guns. That's fine. Can't get another knot, can I? Nah. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll go, we'll go skulls with a Z this time. Oh, no. It does say too many. Fudge. Alrighty. Okay. Um, five inch gun. Can I put a five inch gun on there? I can. Well, I'm okay with that because it's still more torpedoes than I had on there before. Probably put on uh, a pair of three. Nope. Can't put on a pair of three inch guns. Do it. A torpedo. I can't get another center line mount on. It's too. It's too many. It's too many. But what that I still. For? I still had Do five it. torpedoes on the old design, Just and this has six torpedoes. Do it. So it and it's yes, faster. So it's still a step up. Just do it. And there's the black era and the tuning and the jidge. Uh, one of our cruisers run aground, the short of a minor nation, while performing an illicit intelligence operation. Well, screw them. Right, yeah, now we'll build a lot of these. Torpedo tube on the conning tower. Oh, I love that. I, lo I love that idea. Right right on the top, and, the, and then the captain could have a trigger. Let you delete the Afgun mount. Yeah, it probably would. Light cruiser next? Yes. 
light cruiser next. So let's do... I'm going to do two runs of the skulls for a total of 24. Uh, I will retire the Con... The Conrads only have three, yeah. I will retire the Conrads. Sorry, Conrad. Um, and then we'll go ahead and design a new light cruiser. So, um... Four, four centerline mounts seems perfectly fine to me. Especially at six inches. Now, didn't somebody say you could put up to an 8-inch gun on this? I think I think you could do a, a larger gun if it's not... If there's... Um, it may be only if there's two guns, or maybe if it's um, in, not in a turret. Well, these would not be in turrets anyway. Um, but still, I think that's a little silly. Dub, uh, doubles for CLs. I think I can technically do that. Oh, um... These cannot be doubles. Uh, switch to oil. Blast from main battery, R, W, or V will reduce rate of fire for non-casement guns by 20%. Uh, does not research double or triple turrets, so I can't do that. There we go. 7-inch guns is the max for CLs. I think it's 6-inch on, on a normal design, isn't it? Yeah, because after after that, it it, it says it's a heavy cruiser. Um, un unless you start doing weird things with it, I, I think that's that's where you cap out. Do up to 8 inches if the armor is below is 2.5 or below. I don't, I don't, I mean, right, okay, so 2.5. No, it still says, it, it still says it's, um... It has to be reclassified. Yeah, and if you put no armor on it, it says it's illegal. Oh, we don't need that. Make it a gun that floats. Go for seven inch. I, I, I mean, I, I think it's gonna say the same thing. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a heavy cruiser if you go that high. Orange, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I just wanted to. Well, my, I, I don't like putting guns heavier than six inches on a heavy on a light cruiser anyway, because generally, if they're fighting something where that would be an effective uh, gun, they shouldn't be fighting it to begin with. Uh, so let's make sure these are actually in turrets. If Rulu Waves 2 and Ultimate Admiral had a baby, it would be the best stable game ever. Uh, uh, honestly, ulti Ultimate... Dome. Hey, Unibi! Thanks for the All cheer. Glory to Who's the Hypnotode. Um, Ultimate General... Um, or Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts really worries me because of how poorly they're balancing it right now. They keep swinging wildly from one side to the other. HE rounds are stupid OP, completely useful. Useless. Stupid OP, completely useless. Torpedoes, stu completely useless. Stupid OP, completely useless. Stupid OP. They seem to be having trouble, like, narrowing it down. Uh, anyway. Let's, uh, she's, oof. She should not be rated for speed. She should be ra rated for reliability. Man, that takes up a lot of tonnage. Yeah, just leave it on normal, probably. Um, I would love her to have, uh, some secondaries in here. Along the sides there. Boop. There we go. Get rid of that. Leah needs a screwdriver. Leah! Lady Bagnas! I think she might be sleeping. She's not answering. Or she might have her headset. She might be like playing WoW or something, so she might have her headset on. Still have speed on? Oh, I, should, I want it on normal. Oh. Chad says you need a screwdriver! Lady Bagnas! Yeah! 
All right, what is the weight on this thing? Uh, well, let's, let's at least go up to, say, 6,000 tons. Make me a screw. Okay, yeah, Lady Magnus does want a screwdriver. I'll be right back. Because uh, Lady Magnus wants a drink. Okay, we're good. I can settle back into my chair here. Alrighty, we're making ourselves a light cruiser. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it right now. Uh, we've got 352 tons left on it. Uh, rated for 28 knots, which is pretty zippy. I don't think we'd be able to get long range. Uh, if we made it a little bigger, we'd get long range. Change out the W turret. Is that the one that would slow? Uh, so, aft center line. Uh, that one is th that's legal, right? Uh, R, W, or V reduces rate of fire on non casement. Sec Can I? Non oh, oh, what I could do is put them in casements, then it's not a problem. I just do that, which is perfectly fine for a light cruiser. Uh, we figured out you could put up to 8-inch guns, 8-inch uh, eight centerline guns on a protected cruiser scheme, just as it could have, uh, just as it can have double early on. Um, so it would have to be a protected cruiser then, which is less efficient than what I, than, than the current mock-up, the, the current armor scheme I have right now. So you, I, I would be sacrificing the effectiveness of my armor configuration to do that, just to make just to make a silly overgunned light cruiser. Hello there. Uh, which I'm not going to do. Um, I don't know how if I get if I, give, uh, if I give, make it 6,500 tons, I can make it long range, no problem. That's that's actually a thousand tons smaller than my last light cruiser. No, actually, just pointed out. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So is that looks that sounds like it would be something you'd want to do while you're uh, earlier in the game. Give it 175 rounds per gun. Uh, it's got four center light six inches. We'll give it uh, a dozen. Oh, look at that! Zero weight remaining. I love it. Perfect. I love it. It's it's perfect. The Tsushima class? Oh, that's that's a dick that's a dick move right there. Next up, skulls. <laughs> you, we just named one after you. The warlord. The warlord class. Uh, all right, cool, cool, tight, 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 tight. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap the Azumis because they're very old. Um, let's get rid of those. With her impressive battle record, we should preserve as a museum the Nawina, Naniwa. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead. Now we've got these guys. Which I, I kind of want to keep around because they've got the weird gun configuration. Can I refit these? Can I rebuild these and, and make them better and keep that, that weirdness? Is this legal? Uh, I can do this. They've only got one fire control position. That's unfortunate. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can give them more powerful six inch guns. Do it. I can probably take off all of the casement six inch guns. To save weight. <laughs> That's not weird. It's a protected cruiser for you. There you go. I kind of like this design. Uh, yeah, it's still legal. And I've got 700 tons to work with. Uh, we'll put in the torpedo tubes. Because I like having torpedo tubes on everything. Uh, am I allowed to do this? Is that legal? No, it's that's not legal. That, 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 that one's not legal. That one looked a little silly. Uh, yeah, we'll put the turret... If we put the turret tops up to two inches, that means it's an actual turret and not just a gun shield. 
Uh, I'm probably get another knot out of her. I get a couple more knots out of her. Get her up to 26 knots without too much. I know it's kind of ridiculous to spend this much time and money um, rebuilding a protected cruiser, but I kind of like him. Can you bulge it without losing speed? Uh, I could bulge it, but it would knock its speed down. It's so freaking silly to spend that much time and money rebuilding a protected cruiser. Oh, but I like them. <laughs> this is a legacy ship. It is. Um, we rated for 26 knots. Cost and time like a new battleship. Well, no, 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 no. It, 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 the cost and time is like two thirds of a battleship. Want some of the tea you brought home? Uh, yeah. Throw some ice in it though, because it's still a little warm. I think. It's it's an absolutely ridiculous thing to do. Nineteen, nineteen months. <sighs> I'm still thinking about doing it just for lulls. You know what's crazy too is I can bulge the hull to get more uh get a ton more weight out of her. It's time Do to it. let go. I know, it's just too much. It's just too much. Considering I could I could spend that to build multiple new ships. Oh, uh you know what we'll do? We'll put these guys on foreign station. Uh ooh! Airships. We could we could do that. We could do that. Uh, I think everybody needs an airship station. Base capacity ten. Um, build an airbase. Dar es Salaam. Let's see. Build fortifications, air base, airship base at uh, Formosa. Airship base. Simpsonhaven. Definitely not a German. I've, everybody's getting an airship base. Marshall Islands, Tarawa. I could probably just do it. Uh, can I just do that from here? Yeah. I wish you could do multiple of these at, a, at the same time. Carolina Isles. Peleliu. Airship base. Uh, we got one in Tanganyika, right? Kites Chow Bay. Ting Tao. I love airship bases. Uh, Kamchaka. I'm going to build a lot of these. I love airship bases. They're really not that expensive once you get them up. And they're great for, um... Oh, we already did Bismarck. Hokkaido. I'm not gonna build one in literally every location. Japan. Mainland Japa Japan. Sasebo. Probably not saying that one right. Yeah, let's do... Let's do several in Japan. That's good for now. Marduk. Hey! So now our... So that was only the third... We are at 1921. That's only the third time we've gotten a torpedo upgrade. So now our torpedoes have a range of 3,000 and 1,000 at low and high speed. Oof. All right. The Warlord's ready for construction. Let's lay down at least half a dozen of them. Because uh, we've still got... So we've got, what, 24 skulls coming? Done in nine months. And then we've got the, the bug hammers done in... Six and nine. You know what sucks too is that the the bug hammers were built in the U.S. to try to get uh, access to their low quality 13 inch guns, but now we have access to our own high quality 13 inch guns. Hey, Gib. Hey, 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 Gib. Why are you running away?
Leah brought tea and then teased me with it. Ran, brought the tea over and then ran away with it. Do I have triple turrets? No, we don't have triple turrets yet. Did you try to get superimposed B turrets too? Yep. So we might still be able to get that. Did you get These ships are starting to look good. We got a lot of ships. Uh, ooh, more money! Oh, there's all our airship bases! Th thank th okay, that was Unit B, Unit B, and Unit B, and Unit B. <laughs> Thanks, Unit B. Unit B, you are very generous today. The Hypno Toad. All glory to the Hypno Toad. Ah, Tanganyika, Formosa, Bismarck, Marshall Islands, Carolina Isles, Kaisal Bay, Kamchatka, Hokkaido. Thank you. And we're turning to profit again. Alrighty then. So, yeah, all, all, all hail to the Hypno Toad guys. Um, now, all the battleships are pretty good. A lot of them have older engine styles. What I was thinking is we. Let's see how much it would cost to try to modernize the Albertos. Let's see. So, replacing her machinery would only save me 250 tons to get oil engines in there. And we'd only be able to get up to 22 knots with her. Uh, that's not used. That's not super useful. It's not going to take that long, but we only get 22 knots out of her. Uh, the War Kings are rated for 24 knots already. And those are the ones with the 10-inch guns. The Albertos are, are of an older design. Alberto, you might get uh, relegated to colonial duty. And the Everett's are rated for 25 knots. So let's look at the War Kings. So if we replace her engines with oil... Oh my god! That saves a thousand tons. Just started a uh, uh, Japan. Japan became because of me. I deleted it after my ships kept getting torpedoed by the German subs. Yeah, sub the, the submarines are the bane of my existence in this game. I hate them. I really, I really, really, really want the the um the makers to add like an, an option, like a tick box when you start a game to turn off submarines, just because I I hate them. Uh, okay, so. I can get her up to 25 knots, or I could bulge her and go to 26 knots. I don't really have much to do with the ship, though, is the thing. No subs, no planes, just ships. That, that would be ideal for me. Oh my god, look at the cost. 5,000. Any upgraded guns? I don't think I have better guns. No, I don't have better guns. So again, we're in a situation where there's not much I not much useful I can get out of her. That's already the best fire control. Uh yeah, so there's not much I can do with those ships. That would be useful. Political murder of the Balkans! Who could have Oh, is this going to is this gonna is this gonna be more with the French? Oh my God, they are a pissy little fucks, aren't they? Uh, all right. Um, reserve. Uh, not no nope, other thing. Other thing. Activate everything, cause uh, we're we almost went to war with the French just now. Try the Everts. The Everts are brand new. Um, so they're they're the newest ones I've got. So they're the ones that are in least of need of uh, of a refit right now. Uh, five more months until this. Two months for that. New French battle cruiser or Italian battle cruiser. Not, I mean, other than its speed, nothing to write home about. Unexpected advances in hull construction, but didn't tell me what it was. There's the Darjeeling. Finally figured out hydraulic rammers. Giggity. Uh, rate of fire improvement. 
So nothing, nothing off the the new uh, bug hammer there. I was hoping for those superimposed B turrets. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's spy on the French. Prime Minister Float's idea of a shooting competition. Sure. The fat penguin wins. Well, what is the fat penguin? It's a light cruiser, it said, right? It is a sandwich class light cruiser. Well, there you go. New docks. Uh, interested in buying the rights to torpedo technology. The Italians have nothing out here that I want, so that's fine. Uh, dock size. Darjeeling finished her working up. Bug hammers commissioned, along with 18 new destroyers. Uh, alright, um, the, uh, the, the French also have a new light cruiser. Similar in design, but not quite as good as mine. They're smaller, faster, but not as well armed. Probably not long range either. Sandwich, yeah, your whole, your whole class of light cruisers is still around. Oh! The Hindenburg. Nothing, nothing special there. I sank a bunch of those. Delicious. I forgot how much I like this. If anybody's wondering what that is, it's um, it, it's uh, black iced tea. Bla black ice. It's uh, cold black iced tea with peach juice. Testing tank hull form reduced engine HP requirements. Okay, so with that technology, ripping out engines is going to be more feasible because I can get more speed in less space. Also, now we have these bad boys. <laughs> we need new, um, new Hoositzes, too. Uh, let, let's go ahead and design a new Corvette. Corvettes are pretty lame. Uh, let's make them 1,200 tons. Give them a couple, uh, three-inch guns as well. Don't necessarily need them for minesweeping, more for... Taking care of submarines. Not any anti-subs yet? Well, all, right now they're all anti-subs because none of them are, have mine sweeping gear. So they're all anti-submarine guys. Oh, that's fine. All okay. So we'll go ahead and build another uh, run of those. New government wants... Reduce? No! Absolutely not. Is this going to be war with the French because of that? Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, lay down a dozen of these bad boys. I didn't think I didn't, I didn't think that would be the the straw that. Whoa! Oh, that pissed off the Germans too. Holy shit! Did that ever piss off the Germans? Okay, uh, it's Japan and Russia v Germany and France. It's fine. Yup. Trade protection. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit more, so I'll take some of the old ones and put them on trade protection as well. Um. Can I invade any? I doubt I can invade any. Wait, no, that's British. That's American. British. Okay, none of the French stuff is in invasion range, unfortunately. What's that death sound effect from? That is from um, the uh, uh, the charge of the Rohirrim at the Battle of Pelennor Fields from Return of the King. That's King Theoden's. That's from King Theoden's pre-battle harangue before the charge. That's the uh, oh, I love that. That gives me goosebumps every time I watch that scene. I love it. They're, uh, the, the, the Rohirrim's battle cry as they're charging downhill into the, into the orc ranks is death. They're just screaming death. I love it. Death. So there's nothing for me to, uh, who's it? I should transfer, um, any of the ships I can to Southeast Asia to fuck them up there. Because I doubt they have anything over here worth worrying about. Now, the French have uh, a significant amount down there, but that's, that's fine. I can deal with that. He has a really good pre-battle speech. It's almost ver verbatim from from the book too i think they i think they took one line out and added one line in but it's almost verbatim get mike 
Thanks yeah. for the cheer. Uh, alrighty. So, I think anything that doesn't have short range, we can transfer to Southeast Asia, which is just fine by me. Um, so let's grab all the ice poles. Actually, can I move? Just out of curiosity. Uh, because I think that might count as a home zone for me. Can I move these guys? Uh, move ship to Southeast Asia? No, okay. Um... So it's probably not going to, that's probably not going to fly. But I can still send some of the other stuff in. That's fine. Uh, increase the size of bases. The one holding in Southeast Asia support more. Oh, I've done that several times already. I've been doing that a fair bit this playthrough. Okay, so that means the old ones and the new ones can head down that way. I'll send two of the battle cruisers. Uh, we'll send... Uh, all the, not the oldest heavy cruisers, but the medium ones and the new ones. Along with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 destroyers. And we'll take the, uh, the Napth class and we'll move them to Southeast Asia as well. And the Sandwich class, as tradition, is just going to, apparently I left them in Northern Europe. We'll put them on Raider. Uh, I think that's good for now. Coastal raid. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so this is me raiding, um, basically French Vietnam here, French Indochina, with my with two of my battle cruisers. I love it. It's a it's 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 a good it's a good pair of ships to have on uh, on a raid. Cause I have no idea what the French have down here. Sadly, again, we did not get a um a surprise attack on the French. That would have been delightful. Also, I'm not sure if the Germans are actually in this war yet. Right now, whatever I see. Okay, we've got a potential battle cruiser down here. Uh, we got two French battle cruisers. Uh, very modern ones, too. They've got four centerline turrets and tw 12 inches of belt armor on a battle cruiser. That serves battleship, I would say. Yeah, oh man, um, the French battle cruisers are slower than mine, I believe. 27 knots. 20, 27. They're slower than mine, but they are more heavily armed and armored. Um, I have, I have no idea about their actual effect in, effectiveness in battle, though. That's, that's to be seen. These guys, I believe, have steam turbines, but not oil-fired engines. So we should at least, um, not, not get too close in with them yet. Let's just see what we can do in terms of, uh, getting, getting a, a successful mission, but not heavily engaging them. I'd love to sink this little light cruiser in front of them and make them watch. Where'd my light cruiser go? He's over here. Uh, here, let's take it. Let's take uh, control of him. Oh, I can't. Damn it! I want him over here. Six-inch hit. These guys have a big six-inch battery, right? A six-inch and a three-inch. Medium, a medium-sized secondary and tertiary. All right, here we go. Pull alongside and just rip into it like a monkey on a cupcake. Come on, guys. Monkey. Cupcake. That... That was neither of those things. All right, squad max. We hit it three times with two six-inch guns and one 12-inch. That was... That was... That was not anywhere near what I was hoping for. I wanted to blast that thing out of the damn water. Oh, we just got hit in the hull by a, a big gun. Uh, we managed to hit them a couple times too, though. I only need to get two two sinkings to uh, to win. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, now it's definitely dead. Now 
Now it's both. Yep, sinking. All right. Uh, what we'll do is we will swing by the coastline and see if we can find a transport. Hey, Waldo. Starting early. Yeah, um, I'm doing something this afternoon. Um, I'm taking over for I'm, I'm um, taking over for for Rose, who's about to have her baby, uh, on the uh, No CB podcast. I'm just uh, guest guest starring basically for her, or sitting in his her seat, um, and we're recording that this afternoon. So I started a little bit early, so I had time to work on that. Thank you. All right, that's two. That's two sunk ships. Really, just light damage? Feel like we blasted that thing out of the water. Here, you. Fire a torpedo. Which one are you? Oh, you fired two. There we go. Alright, now we got a victory. I only needed to sink two ships to win? Ooh, hi. Who are you? Hi, oh, aw, aw. sorry. No, I'm not. Yeah, go steal those Frenchies too. The sun's coming down, so now we escape. Not bad. Sank a light cruiser and, and uh, then secured a victory. Yep, light cruiser, two transports, no damage. For 2,000 victory points, I'll take it. Battle of Da Nang. 20 merchants sunk. Oh my god, those fucking sandwich raiders I built, they are Johnny on the spot with murder and Frenchies. I love it. Oh, oh yep, yep, there's the Germany er, victory point. No! Oh, it stole my 2,000 victory points away, you son of a bitch. What are the Germans gonna do? They don't have any bases over here. They don't have any bases. I should get somebody in the Indian Ocean, though. There's the bug hammer. 34! Holy hell! French raider uh, sinks some merchants in, the, in Southeast Asia. That's okay. I've got plus 8,000 ducats right now. Um, so let's see. We've got... Let's take two war kings and put them on um, trade protection in Southeast Asia. Or, you know, let's split the difference. Let's put one on raider and one on trade protection. Eight thousand ducats um i'm gonna lay down another pair of warlords and i think what i'm going to do is see if we can lay down a uh more destroyers i laid down two dozen new destroyers can you build some stupid ships oh you i always i mean i always build stupid ships what's the podcast about oh um it's called No CB, uh, and it's just a podcast. It's like a weekly podcast about strategy, strategy gamings. Um, uh, we're probably going to talk about some of the new games that came out, like Old World, uh, the um, some of the uh, uh, paradox stuff going on. And yeah, I would love to lay down a uh, a new class of battleships, rated for um, um, thirteen inch guns. So we've got 32,000 ton docks right now. We know we want... Ideally, we want to start bringing the speed of the battle line up. Um, let's see. So right now we're at 22 knots. The one thing that annoys me is when the battles are matched ship for ship on each side. But you can only control a fraction of your ships and the AI can consolidate their forces. Yeah. And outnumber I, and outgun you. I do I do know what you're talking about. Um That does happen I, I I've had that usually that happens when it's like a near fought thing, and I've got like some brand new ships that I've never gotten to play with yet. And the AI will be like, you get you get in control of this one old destroyer, and we get control of your four new battleships that we're going to suicide into the enemy formation. Every ship oil yet? Uh, not every ship. Um, I have some ships that have been built with oil, and I have not gone through a refit process yet. Can I talk about the return of Micropose? Um, I don't know what's on the agenda, honestly. I'll show up, and we'll talk about what they want to talk about. 
Uh, let's see here. So if I wanted to get up to 24 knots, it is feasible. Uh, we've got a, uh, a potential 10-gun broadside. Uh, I have no problem using cross-deck fire on these bad boys either. I would, I, I would love to increase the secondary um, armament. Turrets, pretty good. Deck extended really needs to be two inches. Can I... Can I probably go down to 13 inches. Yeah, that's fine. Normal accommodations is the right idea. New Sim Earth. Oh my god, I remember playing Sim Earth when I was like a little, little baby Magnus. Like little Magnus. It was on my uh it was on my like second or third grade school computer. <laughs> Move the side turrets and use them for other things. Um God damn it. I don't wanna I, I want a ten gun broadside. Seven or eight inch and then four or five inch for the secondaries and tertiaries. Um after a certain point I don't put uh, secondaries larger than six inches on a ship. And I've kinda gotten to that point because that increases the chance of flash fires. Which I, which is, which is not something you want. Uh, yeah, extra fire control. That is the best fire control. We got a super firing turret in the back. Okay, so the what we could do to save weight is we could put the um, the forward center line on there, and then we could have an eight gun broadside. Um, oh my god! But if 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 we find a way to keep... We also have the... the I, I I have the range on short still. Um, engine on speed. Yeah, that would that would give me more... Who's it? Who's the torpedoes? Oh, no, 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 no. Torpedoes are, are necessary, especially when you're... Are incredibly necessary, especially when you're... Um, you're playing on a reduced uh, tech... Uh, uh, you're playing on a reduced tech speed because um, the AI is going to have them. You definitely should, too. Civ 2 is my game. I, yeah, Civ 2 was the first uh, first strategy game. I would say one of the very first strategy games I played was Civ 2. I had a, I had a, a demo of Civ 2 that came on a, a demo disc from a PC magazine that I got uh, when I was a kid. And it lets you play, I think, the first hundred turns of the game or something like that. That explains it. I put 10-inch secondaries on early BBs as a joke, and it's the... Uh, and it's the third uh, battle at Flash Fired. Yeah, um, anything higher than six inches um, as a secondary gun has an increased chance of Flash Fires. If anything, I'm putting more torpedoes on these. I mean, also, when you're, we're talking about 32,000 tons, and the, the weight of the torpedoes doesn't scale with the size of the ship. So the bigger the ship is, the less the torpedoes uh, actually affect any, you know, its, its makeup. So, you know, when you're talking about a 900-ton destroyer, 100 tons worth of weight is a lot. When you're talking about a 32,000-ton battleship, 100 tons worth of weight is the hair trimmings that come off on Barber Day. Drop a knot. I really want it to go to 24. And that's all that, I mean, that's only a 300-ton difference. Uh, if I'm going to try to get this to work... I think what we're probably what I could do to make this a more efficient design is to lose the wing turrets. It gives me it still gives me eight guns on the center line. Uh, so let's see, we're looking at the port wing and the starboard wing here. That's sixteen hundred tons, plus the uh, the weight of the ammo for them. Okay, I could I could knock those down to single guns, and I could still have a ten gun ship. No torpedo defense tech. Nope, none yet. Which is why these things are getting dangerous as shit, because uh, they're getting into the thirty thousand ton range with with just like tin foil sides. If you lose the wing turrets, it's no different than the last ship I built. It's significantly different from the last ship I built because it has bigger guns, more armor, and more speed. Uh, Oil-fired steam turbine engines. 
So it's it's significantly different in many ways. I like what I'm honestly I like what I'm seeing right now. I've got a 10 gun broadside on this ship of 13 inch guns at quality zero. That's pretty nice. And I mean we're right at our we're, we're right at our weight too. Um I honestly I would like more secondary guns. Uh but uh, I give it one more pair on. How much extra speed can I get if I drop the wing turrets? Probably one knot, maybe two. But what you have to remember is that um, with with battleships, you want all of your battleships to be of a standard speed. Um, oh yeah, we haven't even put it on medium range yet, so we got to think about that too. Uh, you want your battleships to all be the same speed so that they can all, all operate together efficiently. And what I'm thinking about doing is right now, everybody's rated for 22 knots on my battle line. And I'm th I'm kind of thinking of this as the next generation of ships, and I'm gonna try to bump the battle line speed from 22 to 24 knots. Just wondering why I sense, uh, you're setting a new standard now. Yeah, I'm setting a new standard now just because I feel like we've gotten to a point where technology has kind of jumped ahead uh, from the last class because this this class above the last class will have um, oil fired engines, bigger guns. Um, and I mean, that's kind of the two things you, you, you look at on a ship. Everything's engines perfectly all right now. We're fine. More armor, We're fine more, uh, now. you know, Thank it's you. just got more everything. You have a midship turret placement. I could put a turret in the middle there. Um, but I would have to lose the wing turrets to do that. And I mean, I couldn't, I would not, I would not be able to add it on in addition to the two forward two aft. Cause I can only have four center line turrets right now. So if I want any more than eight guns, I have to use wing turrets. Oh, God. I might honestly just leave these ones on short range, too. And then just try to use them efficiently in terms of, you know, splitting them up into North and Southeast Asia before beforehand. Because I like what I'm looking at right now. I know it's insane. I like cross-deck fire on ships. I like the way it looks. I, I know it's not super efficient, but I love it all the same. Uh, so I'm going to keep that. Most of my well, most of my battleships right now are short range anyway, but they also don't need to go anywhere most of the time. Um, they usually just stay in North and Southeast Asia, which is fine by me. And what I could always do is just um, uh, uh, start having them deploy some deployed in Northeast Asia and some deployed in Southeast Asia as a uh, you know their their default locations. Do have presence in the Indian Ocean. I do have presence in the Indian Ocean, but I would never deploy battleships there for just one small colony. Um, ideally, what I'd probably do is just set a small cruiser formation there, which I kind of already did. You'd have midships with cross deck fire. But I don't need a midship turret because I already have a maximum number of center line guns. I've got. I can have four center line turrets, and I have four center line turrets. So. It would just be an aesthetic move. It wouldn't... Just moving this turret back would mean nothing. It would have the same arc. It would have... Um, the sa It would be the same number of guns in the same positions. It would just be an aesthetic move to do that. All right. I think I'm actually going to keep this design here. Just like this. Probably not going to build, you know, six of these like some of my other classes. But it's incremental step up. Okay. Apparently, uh, the N NP40 gets named... He, he's He gets... Stuff named after him a lot. And he has a name that is very... Doesn't lend itself well to naming things. <laughs> Coastal Raid. Let's see what we got this time. What if any of my... Oh, all of my older battleships could 100% be upgraded to 24 knots without too much trouble now. Uh, especially with the, um, the reduced... Uh, engine HP requirements, I could very easily bulge all my old ships out and bump their speed up to 24 knots. It would be a little pricey, but I could definitely do it and extend their 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 longevity. Uh, Razors! 10 months of Magnu. 10 months in a row. Thank you very much there. Appreciate that. All right, let's see. Who do we got to murder down here? 
Heavy cruiser. Nope, light cruiser. All right, it's two on one. So let's see, what do they got? Uh, four five inch guns rated for 27 knots. Mine cannot go that fast. Uh, we've got, this is the Naps class. These are the ones we built in England. Two six inch guns, six five inch guns, two four inch guns. They're kind of silly. We built them in England to try to steal technology then never stole any technology. Not sure reduce engine HP requirements or applies to the old ships. It applies to the old ships if you're ripping their engines out and replacing them with new engines. All right, come on. All right, let's start getting some hits. You can do it. She's going to outrun you if you don't hit something soon. You know what? Fuck it. Um, I'm just going to go in for the base and see if we can find some transports. All right, you look slow and fat. It's a coastal raid. So all we need to do is sink two transports. Right now, because uh, the, it, the game took away our 2,000 victory points from uh, the last coastal raid, we basically, uh, we got not, well, okay, that says medium damage. So let's go back and make sure it dies. We gotta get some victory points here. There we go. Medium damage and on fire. Wow, that merchant really knows how to take a beating. All right, let's get in here. Yeah, go ahead and steal their, their people too. 89 survivors. Ah, here we go. Success. That's kind of a lame coastal raid. We only got to the two transports. Their uh, cruiser was faster than mine, so. I think I might need, um, I'd like some some more heavy cruisers. If we're going to keep fighting in French Indochina, I'd like some more heavy cruisers down here. Maybe take the two Everett's and bring them down here as well. Huh. That's a couple of victory points. Uh, enemy submarine torpedoed and sunk again, Brad. An old light cruiser. Shameful display. All right. Uh, well, they're already there. Never mind. They're already down there. Is it possible to invade Way Highway? Uh, isn't that Brit? That's British. So, n no? Uh, well, I mean, technically, yes, if we were at war with the English, but we're not. So, we'd have to wait on that one. What are we building right now? What do we What do we got under construction? Uh, the first run of the Warlords, second run of the Warlords, and some Corvettes. Japanese sh uh, ship intercepts a French Raider. All right. Single combat. With the, uh, these are my old long-range raiders. Only 24 knots. They are not actually designed for combat. They are only uh, designed to shoot at someone who can't fire back. Let's see, what do they got? Eight five-inch guns. I've got six five-inch guns. Let, let's see who's got better gunners, though. Hey, there's three hits. A five-inch gun on a light cruiser is going to do some damage. Six, seven, seven hits? Or five hits? Five hits. I'm just going to add in hits of my own. Okay, okay, my gunners are doing great. What's your speed? 23 knots. I think I can do 24. 20, 24 knots. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> fuck you! Turret disabled, turret destroyed. Son of a bitch, what do we lose? We lost one of our centerline guns. We lost two centerline guns on that hit. That's what these ships are are, are good for. The, the fact that they have centerline guns. Son of a bitch. Get him. 
Well, I mean, one of them was only damaged. So it'll, it'll be back in action. Ah! Lost another turret. Oh, there goes my rudder. Son of a bitch. I hit them 20 times for little damage. They hit me eight times for multiple crits. Ah, that's unfortunate. Come here, you bastard. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! Engine room, engine room. Alright, um, I don't think I can, but try firing a torpedo. Nah, I didn't think so. Turret destroyed! Ah, oh, turret disabled! God damn it! Oh, you are an unlucky ship. Alright, but you turn around you turn away. I think she's on fire now. Aw, oh, so unlucky. So many hits, but so little damage, and every single time we got hit, it was something critical. Aw, oh, so unlucky. Alright. Heavy damage to our ship. Only light- yeah, they just got lucky. Uh, negotiated peace without border change- uh, no. Total victory. The Great Britain still- I'm gonna have to say the Great Brit- the British are allowed to just dick around right now. Again, the Raiders are doing great. Another cruiser action. Germany declines. German ships intercepts one of my cruisers. Alright, uh, let's see what we got this time. This is a German ship. The Strasbourg class. A lot of four-inch guns, but only 21 knots of speed. So, I can hit harder, but they can fire faster. So, alright. Nonya. Don't fuck this up. Don't screw it up this time. Come on. Any day now. Ah, there we go. Two hits. Turret disabled. Turret disabled. I feel like the British. These are, these are British built ships. I feel like they 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 um uh that may, may they built a, a fucking like disable button in all of my turrets. Gonna find like a tea biscuit jammed in the uh, the turret ring of every single one of the turrets on here. Are right, getting some good hits in there. Medium damage, slowed down. Well, I mean, probably not slowed down yet. They only, they're only rated for 21 knots. We're in a rain squall. Turn armor less than two inches. Nah, it's two inches all around. Generally on light cruisers, I, I always put it at two inches so that it's an actual turret, not just a gun shield. But on these ships, they seem to be... Um, Susceptible to, uh, to, to disableage. Turret destroyed. Again, these ships are not are not designed for combat against someone who can fire back. They're only designed for raiding. So these they're they're not performing. They're getting hits. They're just not doing a lot of damage in these uh these actions. Engine room. Oh god, a oh, runner damaged! Again. They do look nice. Gunners are lousy. Well, no, the gunners are fine. Like, in that last engagement, I hit them 20 times basically before they hit me at all. But they just didn't do any damage, and then every single hit I took was a crit. Like, my, my, my engines, a bunch of my, uh, like, all my centerline turrets, my rudder all got hit back to back to back to back to back. I was hitting them left and right. It just wasn't fucking doing anything. Again, gonna have to, uh, disengage. 
This time they didn't do as well. Oh, and we sunk on the way out. <laughs> that ship was far inferior to us. But they still, uh... Us getting disputed border areas and some colonies, sure. The French surrendered. Okay, um... Quanchu Wan. What else do we want? Tonking? Or no, um, I think that's part of China, right? And we'll take uh, French Polynesia, too. Yeah. Alrighty, then. The the might of Japan. I'm a little surprised. You know what's weird? Is, uh, I, I, I'm honestly wondering if there's a bug in the game. I turned on the, the tick at the start that makes, makes it harder to sign a peace deal. And everybody keeps throwing in the towel. We have a lot of bases in Southeast Asia now. Uh, all right, improve bases, yes. Uh, reserve all. Uh, we are going to build an airship base in uh, Da Nang. Airship base in... Oh, I got so many things now. Did I already have something in Liaotung Peninsula? I don't think I did. Did I? Port Arthur? I already got stuff nearby. Polynesia doesn't have one, you're right. Uh, I don't think South Korea has one either. Where's Polynesia on here? Ooh, Quan Chu Wan. There it is. Fort Bayard. There. Do that one too. Okay. Yes. Look at my colonial empire. It's growing larger. I'm a little sad that they surrendered so easily. All right, so let's go ahead and lay down two of those new battleships. Uh, we're going to free up a ton of um, cash pretty soon because this first run of uh, Warlord Class Light Cruisers is almost done. And these Corvettes are... Well, the Corvettes aren't expect, expensive, but they're coming along. The Russians are interested in buying the rights to four centerline turrets. They're my allies, for now. I, I, I find the and most more cash. Part of a woman is the boobies. Hey, Sarlacc, how goes the game? Really good. Really good. Uh, we're winning. Okay. More money for the Navy. Build, yes. What I'm probably going to do is start rebuilding, uh, ripping out some engines soon. There's those guys. Steel industry wants a stronger Navy. Yes, give me more money. Oh, my God. What? Okay, let's take a look at the almanac. I'm at 523. Wow. Um, I'm third, only shy of Great Britain in the U.S., and only by a little. Oh, yeah, we gotta name that other ship, too. Um, rename this bad boy. Coral. Does Coral already have a name? I thought Coral already had a name on a ship, didn't he? Do we have a coral in, in the fleet right now? Or maybe that... I think he got something named on uh, RimWorld. Why can't you join? Uh, if it says nothing, it means you're already in the queue. Uh, if you don't have enough cat Here, I'll make sure... Well, here. Everybody should have enough cash because I just gave some people ducats. If you hit join and it says literally nothing, it just means you're already in there. You've already joined it. Uh, it sh I'm pretty sure it, it throws it throws you a you're too poor um, if you're uh, if, if you don't have enough ducats uh, okay so it looks like Carl is a valid name right now so rename ship coral. Right? Like cruisers. Italians are interested in buying uh, improved hoists. It's fine. I'm not going to fight them. All right. Now we got cash. Uh, before we do any rebuildings, guys, I'm going to take a really, really... Oh, and exponent turn on emoji only mode. Alrighty. So, let's see. Um, 
ideally what we want to try to do is take the most useful ships that we can try to extend their lifespan and uh, see if we can bump them up. So let's take the horn. I believe the ice pole only has, well, no, they all have three turrets on them. The ice poles are really lightly armed. They're only 18,000 tons. I'm thinking that maybe we start with the horned pandas and see what we can do with these guys. So let's open for rebuild and see what we can't get going here. So what we ideally want to do is replace the machinery and oh, with oil fired engines bulge the hulls and well if we bulge the hulls we have to go to 26 which is doable uh it's i mean i could bring the uh the horned panda class up to 24 knots with a bulge hull a little expensive but it's a good ship the arm armor's 12 inches i'm a little hesitant to do with the ice poles just because the ice, ice poles are so old they're they're old they're not that uh they're not that strong comparatively keeping those uh at home for home defense probably a better idea uh but yeah i could bring the horned panda up to 22 knots or 24 knots with a bulge hull without any issue i'm gonna do it uh don't have access to better guns yet can i bring these down i'm not allowed to do that right no i can't okay i can do that Um, rip these guys off maybe and just go with a unified battery of six inch guns when, uh, you cannot install additional secondary guns uh, but only in single mount so if I put those into mounts Put the, can I put them in double mounts? I'll put them in single mounts. So I, I could rip out the casements and just riddle this thing full of uh, single single hoositses. But yeah, the bug hammers still do have shit guns. Uh, alrighty. This is fine. And I can give him I can give her more ammo. No better 12 inch guns? Nope. Best I got. Uh alright. Uh I I think we're gonna I don't think I need that many. How many did it have before? 125? Upgrade bug hammers guns. Not really too concerned with that right now. There's only two of those. They're not exactly a prime like my primary battle line. I'm really more interested in getting the larger classes built back up yet. Um, I don't have better main guns to give her. I do not have better main guns to give her. So we're gonna have to go with that. Uh, I think we'll. I think we'll probably just leave the extra weight. Uh, well, I can't. I can't give her two and a half on the secondaries. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right, rebuilder, uh, horn panda. Do two, two more of them. Rebuild those ships as well. Uh, let's take a look at the bug hammer. See what that's gonna cost me. Just to do this might not be that much. No, that's actually fine. That's way less than I expected. Um, yeah. So go ahead and do that as well, because that's only gonna take. That's a very limited amount of money and only four months. So that is that is fine to do. Uh, oh, the Corvettes are almost done, too. A communist coup took place in Russia! Okay. Um, 
So that happened. <laughs> totally not prepared for this. Woo! Uh, noob, thanks for the cheer there. Oh my god. Oh, that's great. That is great. Comrade Joe, they, thanks. I'm glad you guys enjoy that. Built those bug hammers in the US. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's only four months. They'll be back soon. Will you lose your ally now? Uh, no. They're actually better allies now. Yeah! Built the, the bug hammers in the US with minus two quality guns. Didn't I... I, I, I hit the thingy. Oh, we'll see in a sec. Go grandfather Stalin. All hail Putin. Either way, it's... Oh, 1% weight saving on machinery. Oh, that would have been useful a little while ago. Here, let, let's... I mean, these are... It's only a few thousand bucks we're wasting, if that's the, that is the truth. Uh, reserve all... So we do, did we um did we do do we send those to the US for a new coat of paint? Uh we did. We sent them to the US for a new coat of paint. Cuz there's nothing else to do to them. Uh already then. Um Oh, I'm not allowed to. Wait, not invented superimposed beat turrets? Why is that a problem? I'm not changing the turret! I'm not taking the turret out, I'm just putting in different guns! Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, fuck you, game. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Son of a bitch. Uh, exciting new area of naval aviation heavier than diddling. Also, face hardening. Wow, everybody's mad at me. Uh, apparently the Italians have built a fighter aircraft. And they... Oh, that's lame. Okay, you laid down a 36,000 ton battleship with only 9 inches of armor. Political murder in the Balkans. I don't care. Let's go to war. France, you want to go again? Oh, and we stole knowledge of better armor. And we made fire control advances. Oh, delightful. So, the, all, the six warlords are nearly finished. Um. Oof. Hmm. Oh, and more cash. Oh no. Oh no. I just lost my uh, alliance with the Soviet Union and France and Germany agreed that I need to be contained. Government of Great Britain suggests a mutual reduction in naval spending. How about you go fuck yourself? Oh! Eleven hundred ton destroyers. Blood for the blood god. Blood for the blood god. Oh my god. Eleven hundred ton destroyers. Um, let's let's make sure that the rest of the horn pandas are all did, all, all diddled. Uh, I want all of them refit so they can operate together. My god, the world does not like me. Uh, interested in buying face hardening. No! And 1% weight saving at hulls. Great Britain has stolen technology from us. Oh, shit. Russian flying boats. Okay, the, the, the British apparently got over it. This guy's got 15 months left on him. Not too bad. those docks coming ooh reduce naval spending that's not an ooh protest oh my god boy do okay okay in preparation I'm going to take <sighs> I 
the entire Jinj class and move them to Southeast Asia. Um, let's also keep improving the bases in uh, Southeast Asia. Formosa as well. Marianas. Just kind of hit everywhere a little bit. We are right on the brink. I, I want some of those recons. Oh no! There's been upheaval in Greece. If we send an expeditionary force to restore order, there's a chance we could take it over as a colony. War! Oh my. I mean, I I can't say no to Japanese Greece, right? I got it! I got it! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Woo! Is this gonna spark a war? Oh my god! War with everybody! <laughs> Okay, I don't have a fleet in the Mediterranean. You didn't fancy just kicking some German so, off? So, in, in theory, this is war with Germany, the, uh, the British, and the French. Arrest everybody in Greece. Doom! Yep, there it is. Oh! Oh, I get to surprise attack way high way! I shed the blood of a Saxon bed. Woo! I, okay, the bug hammer and the Darjeeling are, Wait, bug hammer, why are you painted in French colors? Uh, okay. Um, do I have any of my new destroyers? I do have many of them. Uh, I don't think I could take control of these guys for a little bit still. All right, here we go. Again, uh, these ones, I want to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves. I want all of these guys on manual control. And I want to send them down this way. I'm so happy for a surprise attack. Oh, I found something! Identify it. Identify it. Identify it! Somebody identify that fucking ship! Oh, it's a Corvette. Um, well, I mean... Can you put a... Can I, am I allowed to put a... a a torpedo would do a Corvette? It might not actually be a Corvette, it might be bigger. Well, I've never torpedoed a Corvette before, but there's a first time for everything. I'll watch there be nothing over here. Oh no, we found something. Oh, we found a line of ships. All right, guys, let's start doing this. All right, lead ship is out of uh, out of position. Uh, skulls, center line swivel into that cruiser there. Next in line, center line swivel into the light cruiser. Third in line, center line swivel into the other cruiser. That's two torpedoes per per launch too. Uh, so that's one, two, three hits. Uh, Hatakaze. We missed the heavy... We missed the biggest target. We missed, uh... We got him that time. What? One of our... One of our guys got hit. Oh, that's sad. Hey, can you fire a torp... You, you still get to fire once more, right? Alright, last ship in the... There might not be very many British ships here. Which could be unfortunate. If 
Friendly fire. I don't think it was friendly fire because there's nobody who could have possibly fired torpedoes and hit that ship. All right, so that's that was a lot more. I don't think there's anybody else over here. I think this is it. I think that's all that was here. Well, wasted a surprise attack on your asses. I, I, I hope this is actually a heavy cruiser. Submarine submerged in the landmass. Uh, maybe it's in dry dock. Maybe it's in dry dock. Now that could potentially be friendly fire right there. That I would believe. There's nobody else to shoot. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. There's nobody else to shoot. Hey, ooh, hey. Um, you guys want to torpedo that other thing? Oh, I don't, that might not even have been a heavy cruiser either. It might have just been a light cruiser. Oh, lamest attack ever. At least the Germans let me really murder the fuck out of them. I think, I don't think those are actually, I don't even think that was a heavy cruiser. New destroyers are great though. Oh, what happened? Oh, I got hit by the coastal battery. That's fine. That is so sad. All right, well, I guess let's just keep torpedoing these guys just to make double sure that they sink because there's nobody else to shoot. Can you guys sink already? I just want to make sure you're dead. Somebody's getting shot up. Oh, it was the one that was sinking the coastal battery. It was just ripping them to shreds. I mean, sinking a couple of light cruisers is fine. It's just I was ex really hoping for something a little more spicy. I was hoping to take out, you know, like the entire British Pacific fleet. Come in here with the uh, the battleships here and see if they can get some, uh, maybe take out the land targets for some extra doodles. Let's see. Sun's going to be up in seven hours. It's going to be a long time. Is that enough? Where did that transport come from? Unidentified land feature. Let's see if we can't take out a uh, coastal battery. That'll make me feel better. How oh, the four the four inch guns are really hit me a lot. Eleven light hits. I mean, it's on a battleship, so. I gotta get points somehow. How much damage? Heavy, heavily damaged and on fire. Oh, and it, okay, heavily damaged and on fire. All right, let's uh, take a shot down. Watch me hit a mine now. Wait, spots unknown ship. Oh, you know what? It probably was the, yeah, the land feature. Six inch coastal battery. There's no actual ships out here. It's just the coastal batteries. Hey, the coastal battery's sinking. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm going to take a coast, sinking a coastal battery as a success. 
Is there anything left out of this? I mean, if I could get, I could get some points for destroying land targets, so there is that. Sinking? All right. Another four-inch coastal battery over here. Hey, a Corvette! I sank every- I sank everything! I sank it all! Alright, I lost a submarine and two destroyers. They lost three light cruisers, two corvettes, two transports, and two land- well, Two of the land targets. Alright. I'll take it. What is it, a few thousand points? Ba battle of way high way. Way high lame. Um, sandwiches. Keep raiding. Unfortunately, I don't have anything. I have no way of defending Greece. Um, it is outside of invasion range of everybody, so it might be okay. Hey, Stroop. Is he okay? Yeah, well, he is fine. She's talking to some people in Discord. Um, I could send. Move the bases there, build fortifications. Uh, let's build a number of, uh,. Coastal batteries there. I'm almost out of cash, but let's see. All right, the first reconstruction is almost done. Oh, and I need to put ships on trade protection because the war just started. Trade protection. Small engagement. I don't have anything over here. For, wait, France declines? Russia went commie? They did. The rebellion continues. I need to send a, a fleet to the Mediterranean. War broke out between Japan and Germany. Ah, oh, damn it! I just lost those points! <laughs> God damn it! Um, alright. Alright. I gotta send something to the Mediterranean. Let's grab... One, two, three, four, five, six of the new destroyers. Um, two warlords and the Everett's. And I could send some battle cruisers there without trouble. And two of my battle cruisers. Yeah, the one I don't need these ones in Northeast Asia. Let's move these to the Mediterranean. Good. British ship intercepts the sandwich. We'll just auto resolve that. Both ships are damaged in an indecisive battle. Sandwich is damaged and interred. Okay, heavy AA weapons. Raiders are doing their raidling. I'm so bummed I lost those victory points. A f Ooh! <laughs> Delightful! A fleet battle against the British. What do I got? I got a fleet here. And we've already spotted the British. Uh, we got some of my... Wait, didn't I tell the Everett to leave here? I got a lot of cruisers here. Two battle cruisers. And uh, four, eight, twelve battleships. Let's take control of the battle cruisers. And get a, get a proper scout out here. Now, let's see if the British actually have any ships with 15-inch guns like that lying son of a bitch uh, uh, game told me. Oh, the Cornwall! Looks little. 18,000 tons. 11-inch guns. The Illustrious... 33,000 tons. Oh, the sun's coming up, too. Alright, what do we got over here? Uh, the Cumberland, 11-inch guns. Cornwall, 11-inch guns. Oh, God, these things suck. Voltaire, 12-inch guns. The Lord Nelson, 13-inch guns. I see nothing with 15-inch guns. All right, let's grab the fleet here, uh, 20 knots, and send them straight in. Waldo, um, I don't remember what class of ships you have. I haven't lost very many ships this playthrough, though.
Uh, the British have a lot of 11-inch guns in their fleet. I'm thinking that that I I, I got bad uh, 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 bad information on those 15-inch guns. All right, we got the Queen Mary down here, 13-inch guns. The How, 13-inch guns. Most likely, uh, will have shit quality. Wait, we found it. The superb class has eight 15 inch guns, so they actually do have 15 inch guns. All right, I'm more interested in basically splitting their formation in half and coming this way. Can somebody, nobody's landed a hit yet. Can somebody shoot that destroyer? So they do, they do have a ship with 15 inch guns. But nothing. Okay, Voltaire took a hit. How took a hit? Looks like the battle cruisers are starting to uh, get the range. I started blasting. All right, now they're starting to get them. All right. So these are these are my newest battle capable ships right now, the Jidge class. So let's let's get them let's let's get them in on this. Bring it in. I'm, I'm going for the Voltaire. The tuning took a hit to the hull from the Magnificent. 13-inch gun. The British ships all... I've noticed this. The British ships have um, poor armor comparatively. Okay. So, uh, 20 knots and turn the other uh, guys around here. Voltaire's taking hits. How's taking hits? Superb took a hit. Superb is the one with the actual guns. So if we can knock that bad boy out. So far, so good. Uh, how magnificent. How, 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 how. How's taking a lot of hits. Our gunners are really doing well so far. They've got a where's that light where's that light cruiser? Oh, someone's firing at this guy. Okay. <sighs> Looking for some flash fires, I know, right? The 12 inch hit guns are doing a great job right now. I'm just seeing 12 inch six inch hits all across the British fleet. Jotmani hit turret top, that's okay. Superb's so knocked down to 15 knots already. Uh, let's have these two formations take a turn and try to head towards that formation. All right, uh, squad max turn. Jotmani, keep going. Not in a good firing position, but we have landed hits on all of these ships right here. How much penetrations do your gun have? Uh, it's kind of hard to say right now. Um, I don't know if I can get gun data from a ship while we're in combat. I don't really remember if that's a thing you can do. I don't know if that's... Uh, I don't know if I can get gun data. Uh, here we go. Gun data. Let's see. Um, poten uh, at closer ranges, we could penetrate 9 inches of belt armor, 9.5 inches of belt armor. A lot of these ships do have between 8 and 9 inches of belt armor, but um, ideally we'd have to get in close to do that. These 12-inch guns are not that strong. It's what I had, though. And even if you're not penetrating a, a ship's armor, destroying its superstructure is is useful. Uh, where'd, the, where'd the heavy cruisers go? I think they're up here. Yeah, um... Let's grab the heavy cruisers and have them head south. I mean, so far we've barely taken any damage and we have laid in a lot of damage on their fleet. Redoubtable, like all the 12 inch hits, all the 12 inch hits. I just gotta, I gotta look to see if the superb ever hits anybody. Yeah, 
the, the idea here is to, to do enough damage to sink some of these. Let's uh, hit... Oh, that's, that's squad max on here. Squad max. It's 21 knots here. Enterprise has taken a couple hits from the illustrious, which is where? Over here. All right, let's uh, switch to the unengaged side. I, I'm loving basically the unified six inch batteries across the fleet. They're doing a lot of damage. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I didn't see that guy coming at me. All right, that's uh, that's, uh we might be able to handle that. It's a little sad they didn't do more damage to a destroyer that close to us. Squad max is now 14 knots. I'll try to try to keep formation. Uh, where are my battle cruisers? Here they are. Still, still doing a lot of damage. Okay, ice pole. What are you doing? Ice pole. Ice pole turn. She's in torpedo range. God damn it! You are not supposed to get within torpedo range. Silent Dragon took a b bunch of hits. Uh, where's Silent Dragon? I have no idea where th which formation that's part. I'm kind of losing track of where everybody is right now. Tuning looks like she just fell out of formation. Zate hit by a torpedo. That's unfortunate. Where's that? Okay, so yeah, that's that was that problem. Zate's Zate's going down. Um. I did, not, I did not want to get in torpedo range over here, and that delay on the turn from whatever caused that. And Zate just uh, had two turrets knocked out with one hit. So Zate, Zate's going down. Cornwall's getting it pretty good now. Hey, why are you guys... Uh, that's exactly why I wanted them to uh, not get that close, because it was going to cause problems, and it did. These are the weakest ships I own right now, so, again, not the end of the world. Howl's getting it pretty good. The Superb is right fucking here. So, th we've got some of their strongest ships fighting some of our weakest ships. The Ice Poles are only 18,000 tons. Um. Oh, Silent Dragon just m slaughtered the Howl. Heavy damage on and on fire. How, how you doing, Zate? Uh, flooding really heavily. I'm sorry! Black Era just got blasted. Ice Pole just got blasted. Yeah, it's the, it's the bat, the, the, um, the, 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 the rear ships in this formation not having a good time of it. I'm gonna have to, they are, they are again, they are the weakest ships I own. I'm gonna have to tell them to turn away. Oh, that's definitely a torpedo hit, right? Nope. Oh, okay. Superb took another hit. We haven't sunk anything yet, which is a little, which is a little unfortunate. Nothing, nothing is a for sure sunk ship yet. These guys are not having a good time of it either. Zate, you need to turn away. Same with the ice pole. Tuning, you can turn away as well. Squad Max, head over this way. Head over this way. Illustrious and Cornwall are still taking hits. So much damage, but it's all like evenly distributed. It's all evenly distributed in the fleet. Uh, let's Let's forget about the guys over here. Let's focus on this side. Ice Pole is really eating it right now because she's going so slow. Cornwall looks like she's pretty heavily damaged at the moment. Silent Dragon's ripping up this little destroyer who's coming in. Cat Mando's just took a hit in the engine room. Ice Pole is go. Yeah, we're going to lose Zate and the Ice Pole. Cornwall's taking a couple hits as we're going by. 
Cornwall's getting absolutely blasted. That was five 12 inch hits. There's another two. Ice Pole has 50% ammo remaining. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's bring the other heavy cruisers down to help. See if we can uh, go to, go after the Cumberland here. I'm surprised that Zate's still going. Z they got the flooding under control on Zate. Oh my god, really? They actually got the flooding under control on Zate. How's the ice pole? Flooding and, and the superstructure's gone. Cumberland's on fire, or Cor Cornwall's on fire. And still getting pummeled. Somebody kill that destroyer, for the love of God. I, oh, there goes the ice pole. All right. Well, uh, again, the weakest ship I had, so... Not super bummed out about that. All right, Hal's taking some hits now. We gotta focus on... We gotta focus the damage. We gotta focus focus them down. So we got Cumberland up here, light damage. How light damage, magnificent, medium damage, superb uh, the damage there. Let's have these four heavy cruisers turn north along with two battleships. Jopmani's running out of ammo. These guys down here. Uh... Cornwall is heavily damaged. Can we make just... I wonder if we can just make a torpedo run. Ten-inch guns are doing pretty good on, uh... On these guys. Squad max, head north. Tuning is still okay. We're running out of ammo, though. We are running out of ammo. All right, I swear to God, if I can't launch a torpedo at this guy. Yeah, there we go. All right, that was a hit. Oh, they launched again. All right, come on. Come on, that's one hit. Out of arc, he's right in front of me. That's... But, but. Silent Dragon's running out of ammo. Oh, son of a bitch! Heavily damaged and on fire. Ice Pole's dead in the water. Lord Nelson. What if we could get Lord Nelson off my ass? Redoubtable's taking hits. How is on fire. The Majestic, we might be able to do a torpedo run on. The battle has devolved into chaos. Everybody's running out of ammo. No solution! Alright, how about now? He's right in front of you. Out of arc! You liar. Do they have anything left over here? I don't think they have any heavies over here. How and Redoubtable and Majestic are all... Oh, Cat Mando's just got fucked by the... Oh, it's because the Superb fired on her at point-blank range. 15-inch guns at point-blank range on a 18,000-ton hull. Yeah, no, that's that, that tracks. Let's just swarm her. We gotta sink the Superb. Poor thing. Poor thing. Hal's getting blasted with the secondaries. Swarm! Swarm! Alright, let's have these guys turn away. Alright, pivot! I started blast. Alright, there we go. Alright. Cat Mandos, you still got torpedo I don't think she's got a, a solution. 
Oh my god, Cat Mando's just ate all of the dicks. Oh, it happened again! <laughs> oh my god! The Superb is really eating it from 10-inch guns, but my god, is she- is she- Oh, no firing solution! Like, this Superb is getting pummeled with 10-inch guns and is really taking damage. Come on, Cat Mando's- Shameful display! Uh, shameful display! Uh, alright, let's see. Zate is still floating. Superb is getting pummeled. Oh, that looks like a good torpedo. Ooh, missed. Howl's getting pummeled. Uh, alright. Majestic. Back down this way. It looks like the How and the Redoubtable are both heavily damaged. The Superb is not going home. Oh yeah. Oh, I was I saw I saw a flash fire. No, one of my destroyers flash flash fired. Leah yelling. Oh, Leah's talking to some people in Discord, so she's probably yelling about something. Ice pole took a couple hits. Oh yeah, that one that was one of those. Ice pole got left behind. Alright, you! You! You, manual control! Take it take down the superb. Fuck you and your arc! Alright, Superb ate a torpedo. I hit it with so many 10-inch guns as well. I'm gonna have Cat Mandos and Silent Dragon go home. They ate so many shells. So many shells. Sarlacc! Or Stroop, thanks for gifting a diddly to Hoosits. Alright, what do we got over here? How? Sinking it on fire. Redoubtable, heavily damaged on on fire. Superb's definitely going down. Uh, Majest we're probably gonna get the Majestic here, too. I, I, I find the most erotic part of a woman is the boobies. Jidge hit by a torpedo from probably the Majestic. Mike, fire a torpedo. Out of arc, my ass! Kaze, fire a torpedo as well. Never mind. Aw, oh, son of a whore! Black Air is running out of ammo. Uh, oh god, Everett. Do you think you could fire a tor- I'm gonna have to tell these guys to get the fuck out of here. Um, Lord- ne Let's see if we get a torpedo into Lord Nelson here. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Oh, we got a torpedo into Lord Nelson. How many hits uh, did Cat Mandos take? I, I can- I can- I can check. It was... I don't ever know if it matters how many, other than the fact that it was... Oh my god. 20 heavy hits! 20! Many of them 15-inch guns. And still floating! Dickus. Cat Mandos, my god. Dickus. Uh, I think house house sinking, Redoubtable is heavily damaged and on fire. Zate actually might make it out of here. Uh, we just put a torpedo into the Lord Nelson. Wonka's having issues. Where's the Wonka? I definitely have to start retiring some of these ships. Tell me where the Wonka is! I don't know where she is right now! I don't know where Wonka is in the fleet. I would tell her to slow down if I knew where she was. Of uh, the Silent Dragon do? Amazing. Lots of hits. Uh, to the north. Okay, Wonka. Uh. Marduk, uh, can you get a torpedo off? No. Superb's definitely going down. Majestic's going down. I don't even know where that ship is. Furthest north ship in the uh, in the fleet. That's this. Oh, oh, she's right here. Uh, okay. Um, sorry guys, I was looking for a formation. That's my bad. 
All right, Marduk, you have to have a, a solution now, right? I'm gonna get torpedoed. I know it. Oh, I got. I, well, we got one off. It looks like. Redoubtable's taking hits. Medium damage. Uh, comrade. Fire a torpedo. Black Era, fire a torpedo. Ajax, fire a torpedo? No? Okay, fine. Whatever. How is sinking it on fire? Redoubtable's eating all of the dicks. Lord Nelson just took a bunch of hits as well. Oh my god, heavily damaged. Trying to get my heavy cruisers out of here now. I'm gonna try to retire many of these ships now. Oh my god, I just, it's just a wall of fire. Superb, heavily damaged. Uh, I'd love to make sure she, uh, double tapper. Majestic, heavily damaged. Majestic is getting blasted too. I feel like we've done a good job. We might lose two old ships, but they're going to lose a lot of new ships. Um, the Lord Nelson is heavily damaged, so let's see if we can't harass her to death. Redoubtable, heavily damaged, and on fire. I'm going to start bringing guys back to port. We are running out of... We are legit running out of uh, ammo. Marduk, uh, your engines are damaged, so you head back. Jidge, are you flooding? You got it mostly under control. Heavy cruisers, head north, please. I can't believe Zate's alive. All right, dead in the water, dead in the water. I'd love to actually get the Lord Nelson. Uh, we put a torpedo into her. And this is majestic. I do not want to get away. Let's see, Black Era. Okay, everybody's running out of ammunition. So we got to get them back to port. Heavy cruisers are done really well. Lord Nelson doesn't look like she's making much speed anymore. Yep, starting to get some hits in on her too. I can't believe we actually got that torpedo on her. And 10 inch, 10 inch hits. Let's see, what what, is she, what does she got? She got 10 inches of belt armor. I don't know if 10 inches of will actually penetrate that effectively. Um, even at 1,900 yards. Let's let let's take take a look at the gun data on a 10 inch gun. Uh, no, we're not gonna be able to. Well, I don't know. It only go. The, we're at 2,000 yards, and the gun data stops at 5,000. Uh, tuning is uh, trouble keeping up. I mean, there's a lot of damage out there. I love that we fucked the superb six kinds of Wednesday. Let's uh let's go back and double tap her. Um, these guys are gonna chase down the Majestic. Oh, yeah, no, Lord Nelson's not surviving that. Sinking. Can I, can I please, please just put one more torpedo into it? That would make me feel so much better. Okay, I think it, I think it was a dud. I think we actually hit it, but it was a dud. I just want to... Because they, they, I've, I've seen ships say they're sinking before, and then we're like, nah, fuck it. Lord Nelson's dead in the water, sinking. Howe's gone. Uh, heavily damaged. Is, you know what? Maybe we, maybe we let Zate do a coup de gras over here. A bunch of people are shooting up the Superb on the way past. Well, I was gonna make a torpedo run to, to double check here. Again, double tap. War King's running out of ammo. Zumo's running out. Those are my heavy cruisers. My heavy cruisers performed so well in this battle. So well. I just wanna. I I, I want. It's like a zombie movie. The British. You gotta double tap them. I doubt we can get a, a shot off there. Superb hit. 
Second ship in formation. Can you get a shot off again? No. Okay, well, have him head back. Lord Nelson's dead in the water. Superb's dead in the water. Um, let's close on the Majestic. Redoubtable hit by a torpedo. Wait, was that Zate? I think I'm... No, I don't think that was Zate, but still. It was the Destroyer going to town on her. And the Count! Good to see you again! Lord Nelson dying in the water? Didn't know we were at Trafalgar. How much time do I got left? Okay, I almost... Uh, 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 I, I have enough time to keep... To, to finish this battle. Uh, okay. Fucking Zate. I don't know if we actually check the data on this guy. My god, so much damage to so many ships. Bat Let's send the battle cruisers out this way too. Majestic hit with a 10 inch gun. We want to close on the Majestic. I don't know if she's actually fi she's probably firing back. Um, the two, two, two turrets are still firing. I don't know. She's kind of with a bunch of battle cruisers here. Might be. This might not. This is probably not a good idea. Working hit to Yeah, let, let's 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 pull him back. Let's pull him out of there. That's that's too. She's rejoined a a sizable formation. Let's get him out of there. Who's this? Wonka. Wait, why'd you turn this way? Oh shit, I had Wonka going straight for the port. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, Vol we got a Voltaire down here. I don't know how good Voltaire is at the moment. He's trying to find any stragglers and murder them. Oh no, Wonka. I had Wonka going straight for the port. I'm not sure what happened. Where's Zayt? Yeah, they're going for Wonka. Ah, she's fighting back though. I like that. She's getting hits on the X-Smith. Uh, Alright, let's send the battle cruisers up there, see if they can help her out. That's just a destroyer. Run, Wonka! Yeah, fuck you guys. Jomani and Enterprise. I'm so glad I actually built battle cruisers. They they helped out a lot. Oh no, Wonka, slow down. You they she actually got away, but now she's flooding. Zate, fucking champ. Well, let's take a look at Satan's stats. Only three primary caliber hits. Uh and six uh hits so she barely hit anything. But she got beat up and kept going, so... Gotta give her props for that. Get get over here, you fuck. I might be able to get away with only one major ship sunk. Which would be pretty impressive. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. There you go. Don't let her torpedo you. God damn it! Son of August, okay, she'll be okay. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, they they completely bungled the first no! um. They completely bungled the first uh, uh uh run there by completely missing, and then on the way back they were like, uh, you know what I could probably you know, <laughs> might be able to do is get them in from this side. Yeah, that was not worth it. Oh, I figure I figured it'd be fine because on the first uh the first run, they would definitely murder the hell out of that ship and then they didn't. I actually have good damage control though. I have decent damage control, so I I she might be okay. And I honestly might have been able to 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 cheat it a little and get her through on that side. Kick it over Cat Mando's uh tanking that. Oh my god, yeah. King of the tanks. I, we did really good. All things considered, we did really good. Kaze, where's Kaze? 
Oh shit, probably down this way. Okay, um, sun's down. I only lost, I lost one of my, of the ice poles, and that was it. And one destroyer. Horrendous damage across the fleet, but the only ship sunk was my oldest ship. And Zate survived. Was my oldest, weakest uh, ship. I sank five capital ships. Uh, three battleships, two battle cruisers for the loss of one very small old battleship. Oh, that felt good. That felt real, real good. Um, we damaged uh, seven others as well. 18,500. They got 8,000. So 10,000 up. Wibwob's done. I gotta get ships over there. I can't let. I can't lose. I started this war over Greece. I cannot lose Greece. Aircraft losses. There are no planes yet. There are no planes yet. Oh boy. We got we got one of the horned pandas back. Oh son of a bitch! Why is it 23 knots? It's supposed to be 24. Then I fuck up the reconstruction. I may have fucked up the reconstruction. Aren't these supposed to be rated for more? They're all rated for 23 knots. They all came in under. Son of a bitch! They're supposed to be 24 knots. I designed them for 24 fucking knots. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, now we can plan an invasion for Way Highway. Son of a bitch. All right, guys. Uh, I am actually going to have to call it here. Um, uh, let's see. It is 3 o'clock at 3.30. I'm doing the No CB podcast. Uh, I think they probably want me there a couple minutes early. So I've only got a few minutes to, uh, you know, prepare. Uh, so I'm going to call it a day here. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. This has been an absolute blast. That last battle there was so good. I'm so happy with the way that went. One 18,000 ton, um, very, very old, like, early, early dreadnought for five British modern ships, including sinking the fucking Superb, which I'm I'm willing to bet is the only ship that got cheated into those 15-inch guns. Uh, that was... Oh man, that was that was my white whale right there. But thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I will be streaming more of this, of course, because we love this game so much. Uh, and I'll be back on Friday with some more. I think I'll probably be streaming more um, Snowrunner on Friday morning. If I can't get Roach to join me, I'll just do this again. But just keep an eye on the schedule, and you'll be able to know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.